Let's start by using the Save Queries feature in Active Directory Users and Computers. I'll do a different example than I did in the article. New Query. And we'll just call this one uh, Users Who Have Not Logged On in Some Time. Click Define Query. And then because we're going to be accessing one of the more difficult to work with attributes, rather than selecting Users, Contacts, and Groups from this Find dropdown, select Common Queries. This is what gives you easier access to things like disabled account, non-expiring passwords, and the one we're after, days since last logon. Let's grab everybody who hasn't logged on in 120 days. You can also do similar common query queries for groups and computers, although you'll notice for computers you don't get the option to select things like passwords that haven't been set or computers that haven't logged on in a certain period of time. You could always create that sort of query on your own by flipping the Find dropdown over to Computers, and that would give you raw access to everything that you need. For right now, let's just click OK a couple times. That creates the new report, and we can see that I do have a computer that uh, users who have not logged on in some time, it, it did pull up this computer account. Now, this isn't really a report. These are live accounts, meaning I can double click them and get the same property box that I would get if I were browsing the domain normally. You can add information to this. Uh, if you get into the View menu here, you can add or remove columns. And you can always export this list, either to a tab delimited file or to a CSV file. And if those are your only reporting needs, and you don't have to do this too often, this isn't a bad technique. If you have to do it frequently, though, it kind of becomes a pain in the neck to have to come and manually do this all the time. So another approach would be to use PowerShell. Now, I could use the quest ad commandlets if I wanted to talk to a domain as, as old as Windows 2000 Server. But I'm using the Microsoft ad commandlets, which will work with domains back to Windows Server 2003. And these commandlets come with Windows Server 2008 R2. And they're also available in the Windows 7 Remote Server Administration Toolkit, or RSAT. So I'm going to retrieve all the computers. That's the minus filter star part and all of their properties, including the properties that the command wouldn't normally show me, because I need to access their password last set property to see if it's null. And I need to access the created property to see if it's less than whatever today's date is minus 30 days, so 30 days ago. I'm going to select just the canonical name and created properties from those results, convert it to HTML, and pump that HTML out to a file. Here's the result. I'm going to get a list of computers, and it's not beautiful HTML, but at least it's HTML. And these are computers that were created at least 30 days ago who have never set their password. So I might want to look into why they've never set their password. Perhaps they, they weren't turned on or whatever else. Now the neat thing is, is you can take a command like this and schedule it, either by popping it into a PowerShell script file or by scheduling it directly. What you would do is simply schedule PowerShell.exe, use its minus command parameter to specify the command you came up with, or the minus file parameter to specify the script file that you put your command into. You can schedule that, and so long as it's scheduled to run as a user account that has permission to query that information, you should be good to go. And then you can regularly, on a scheduled basis, produce that report email it off to people, or in this case, perhaps drop it on an intranet web server where people could look at it as they need to.